Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And hello everyone Okay, I want to introduce myself first My name is Abdi Gusti Pancha Surya Wipowo My student number is 12 19 11 23 And I'm from Academic Discussion Class D As the task for the final exam I want to share my PowerPoint video that will discuss about the importance of social media during the pandemic. Without any further ado, let's get started. Before I start my presentation, I want to give some introduction. So, coronavirus start in Wuhan, China, from the grocery market that sells snake pets, and many unusual animals for ingredients for the dishes. Then it spreads through China, Italy, everywhere, and came to Indonesia around March 2020. The world must be mourned because of this pandemic because lockdowns everywhere. I mean, this is the first huge lockdown in the history. All activities are increasingly limited. Online classes work from home and the economy become decreasing. But there are many things that can help in this situation. Thanks to globalization, there are social media. Okay, there are three roles of social media during the coronavirus pandemic. There are, first, giving information about COVID-19. It provides the latest COVID-19 information, such as mutations, disseminations, and other medical information. Second is sharing experience. It provides information of health procedures at several tourist sites, then experience while undergoing several tests, and to tell about quarantine experience. And the last is a powerful way to bring positivity. It can motivate and encourage others to be enthusiastic about living life during the pandemic. We are now in the first part, giving information about COVID-19. First, I want to give an explanation about the picture on the left side. There are TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. So, the reason why I put these three social media because these three giving me the biggest impact for at least 10 months of the pandemic. It entertained me and mostly all of the people. Well, TikTok is an application video based so people can share video about lip singing, I'm sorry, lip singing then dancing and maybe role playing parody etc etc or oh, during this pandemic they also share about experience what they got they're telling to us next to twitter so twitter is an application when someone can share their feelings from caption or we can call it tweet and Instagram, Instagram is an application when someone can share their videos or photos on post or maybe a mini video or photos in Insta story. So we can share Insta story for at least 15 second video, then we post it, but after one day it's gone and through the archive so we can see it again. 
and I want to share information about the role of social media. So social media is a cup or information container that can be used to spread news about COVID-19 or coronavirus, such as the number of its spread, telling which areas are affected by the yellow, orange, red, or black zone. Then we can also find information about the mutation of this virus, how it spreads through which parts of your body, and we can also get information on how to prevent this virus so that we are not infected. This is the medical information to fight coronavirus. And as you can see in the picture, there are general guidelines like always wear a mask, use disinfect, wash your hands, keep distance, do not cough or sneeze in the public. Do not shake your hands. So when you meet people like you're shaking, you can do tight ways like Saudi cup <laughs> and avoid tight touching. I'm sorry, avoid touching. So when people trying to touch you, like no, no, stay away. And do not litter and just stay at home. And I put three important things for me. For me, there are wear mask, always wear mask, wash your hands often, and of course properly. And you should bring hand sanitizer everywhere you go. It should be available everywhere, and keep your social distance from people. We are on the part two. Social media is cup for sharing experience. Besides giving an information about latest news about COVID-19, social media is also a cup for sharing their experience. Like first, health protocol on your side. So when you see Insta story of your friends, they went to Bali, Jakarta, everywhere, Jakarta maybe, you were like, it's coronavirus, it's pandemic, how could you go there? But you can also ask them about the health protocol. So here's the information in a nutshell. In order to establish economy, tourist attractions are still open, even though they have maximum capacity and health protocols. With social media, they can share what procedures to do, such as doing a rapid test or swab test first before they go there, and then what restrictions are put in place. Second is experience on medical test. Yeah, when your friends telling you story that they went to rapid test, you will asking like, is it hurts? Like something so to find out whether we are reactive positive and negative to the virus we can take a rapid or swab test on social media those who have tried can tell how much budget they need to spend for the test as well as what the side effects of the test are so you can ask your friends is it hurts it's like it's like your heart beating when you go to the test, or is it bleeding or something? Don't be paranoid, okay? And the last is telling experience during quarantine. Through social media, we can share experience during quarantine, like you can share anything. Some of them shared their positive experience of COVID-19 and were quarantined at the athletes' homestead. As we know, Indonesia government told us that everyone who got positive for corona will quarantine in athletes' homestead and the hotel, I mean the restricted hotel. Some of people share their experience of making business during quarantine like when they're in the boardroom and i should make this 
and they made like for example scented candle and clothes and they sell it on online shop then sharing fun activities to do like among us game and then dance etc so the picture on the right side okay first picture is this so this woman is a patient on at some state she sharing her experience being quarantined there that it's fun to make a new friends the Wi-Fi is so fast they say she said I mean and yeah it's not that pathetic to be quarantined in home state then I remember remember this this is Telcana coffee or we can make it with Milo I made it in April and it's pretty good and kinda difficult but fun <laughs> then here's the tie tie trend We are now in the first part, giving information about COVID-19. Okay, this is the COVID-19 parenting about how keeping it positive. Praise your child when they are behaving well. Try praising your child or a teenager for something they have done well. They may not show it, but you'll see them doing that good thing again. It will also reassure them that you notice and care. Well, since everything is online, every single family member reuniting in the house, they meet each other every day and they also have to keep motivate each other. And the hardest work I think is for the mother because Besides they are being the housewives, they also became the teacher for their kids. And here's about the positivity that we can give to our friends, our family, or every people in the world. Motivating. Motivate to keep fighting against the pandemic, then caring. It's care by reminding them to adhere to help protocol. Then inspiring, give an inspiration that we can do anything at home because I have seen all of my friends is poor at home and they went to overseas everywhere they go. And I always remain them that you have to adhere to health protocol and if it's not that important you can stay at home it's better as the reminder social media is also have weaknesses before i talk about social media weaknesses i want to talk about the strangeness so the strength of social media is entertainment, educational benefits, and creating awareness. So it could entertain us. The educational benefits is when you're on online school or online meeting, you can find answers or maybe studying from internet. And creating awareness is making you aware of this pandemic. Then the weaknesses is typing syndrome, sore eyes, and hogs. This is the example for the typing syndrome. So typing syndrome is the condition when your wrist getting pain because you are typing a lot. Then sore eyes, when the lights of your phone or PC go through your eyes, it could make your eyes become red, and it's kind of pain too. Then the hogs, 
the fake news that you should stay away. Well, we are on conclusions. I have some quotes from Dave Hollis. In the rush to get back to normal, use this time to decide which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. So it means that we have to prepare during this pandemic and make the action after everything gets back to normal. So there are lots of benefits that can be used in social media. But we as users must be able to use them wisely. There are lots of misinformation and hoaxes that can appear on social media homepage. To overcome this, don't be easy to believe and don't be quick to distribute the news when we don't know the truth. Okay, I think it's enough for me. I hope it could help you. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.